in this uh, flow chart of aerobic respiration three major biosynthetic pathways are mentioned let us take them one by one pathway a is glycolysis that is the first step where glucose is converted into pyruvic acid now the first step in glycolysis is by addition of atp glucose is converted into glucose 6 phosphate so our first substrat or first reactant which is going to get added here is atp as a result of glycolysis we get atp two atps are synthesized so this is our energy source which we get from glycolysis so four number four ingredient or the product which is synthesized is atp as a result of glycolysis we get two molecules of pyruvic acid so our two number product should be pyruvic acid and three one more thing which is going to be produced here is nadh2 so there are three things which we get from glycolysis pyruvic acid two molecules which will participate in the next pathway atp molecules two atps and nadh2 which will take part in other pathway now let us come to pathway b pathway b is pyruvate decarboxylation in this process the two molecules of pyruvic acids will be converted into acetyl coenzyme a so here what would be required is coenzyme a this coenzyme a will come and bind with acetyl group which will be formed from the pyruvic acid and at the end of this we are going to get many things eighth is going to be atp again seventh can be na dh2 sixth is the main thing that we are looking for that is acetyl coenzyme a which is formed when coenzyme a and the acetyl group from the pyruvate they combine 9 and 10 now this acetyl coenzyme a which is formed that is number 6 product it will participate in pathway c pathway c is krebs cycle krebs cycle starts when acetyl coenzyme a enters the cycle and oxaloacetic acid receives it or accepts it so number 9 is going to be oxaloacetic acid for this reaction water molecule is also required so number 10 is going to be water molecule at the end of krebs cycle again we get atp and this 11 number is going to be na dh2 which will also give us atp later on in oxidative phosphorylation so here the question is about the products which are numbered 4 8 and 12 so 4 is atp 8 is also atp and 12 is also atp so d option which says these 4 8 and 12 numbered substances are going to be atps